In Windows 11, I'm going to show you how to change VPN types. And that's because by default, it puts it in automatic mode, which is a little slower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to search and I'm going to type in control panel because that's the only place we're going to see this particular option. So I'll click on open and then network and sharing center, or you could just type in network and sharing center. They'll get you there faster and then change adapter settings. Now here's my VPN connection. So if I right click on it and go to properties, then I'm going to go to where it says security. So here's my different security options. Now we can see the different types of VPN. By default, it's set to automatic. And what that means is it's going to scroll through all the different types of VPN until it finds ones that matches, and then it will try to connect you. But that can be really slow. So if you know what type of VPN that you're going to be connecting to, you can just hit the drop down and choose whichever one is correct for you. So I'll choose SSTP, for instance, because I know that that's a popular one. Now, we also have some other options as well. I'm going to change this back to L2TP, which is what you use on a Macintosh typically. Um, you click on Advanced Settings, and here you can put in your pre-shared key, which is going to be whatever password you're going to have, and then use Certificate for Authentication if you're using certificates instead of the pre-shared key. Now, the pre-shared key is also going to be a matching password that's going to be on the server itself, and it's separate from the user's username and password in Active Directory. Here are some other options as well for data encryption. You can choose optional, which is the default, require maximum strength or no encryption at all. If you'd like, you can also change this to using Extensible Authentication Protocol, or EEP, and then hit the drop down and choose which EEP option you'd like. Now, for, in most cases, it's going to be MS Chap 2, but it may not be in your case. It just depends on how your server is set up. You could also change this to allow these protocols. And once again, MS Chap 2 is the typical one that you'd want to enable, especially for something like SSTP if you're choosing the secure socket or SSL VPN option. So those are your options for security changes in a Windows 11 VPN, and it also works in previous versions as well.